Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're playing Minions of Mirth. So we're going to go ahead and take on the sewers, or at least as much of it as we can, and then around in-game time, um, 8 or 9 o'clock at night, we're going to go ahead and try to uh, kill the wolves that we need for the next part of the Fellowship of Light quest. Um, I don't know what level they are, but I know that bears that are around them are level 8. So, I don't know if we can take on a level 8. If we can, it would have to be straight up. And then we would have to worry about if we even have the ability to, um, to heal fast enough for a mob like that. So, here we are. We're going to go ahead and just start killing slime uh, skeletons. And, um, yeah. I don't know why it targets the person that's furthest away. Like, it's targeting... Oh, now you're going to target this? No, oh, okay. Okay. Did you just heal yourself, buddy? Okay, we're going to do a minor heal. So one thing about this is that a minor heal is um, very, very minor. Um, okay, we'll take those. We'll just collect those for if we ever make another character on the server. Um, go. Yeah, any kind of casting is going to be... Uh, is going to affect aggro on the mob. So while the warrior has aggro at the moment, uh, if I was to say cast um, this, you'll notice right away, most likely, that he's going to grab aggro. And let oh what hell? Okay, just have to. It's like a real. It's like a real real wizard, Harry, um, as uh, AC Gamer likes to say. Um, you just have to uh, wait until it's uh, at 50 percent before you cast anything um and we can also cast an aoe on this if we ever want to get aggro on our bard but why would we because we're um not geniuses that is that is why okay heal come on heal it up Oh, fantastic. We're now going to probably get this other mob. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and target them. We're going to have Red Bark also target them because we need to heal. Heal with the power of healing! Oh, really? Oh, he is. Oh, he is hurting. All right, let's go ahead and turn off attack real quick. There we go. Um, nope. Wait a minute. Long shield of mysticism. Well, dang it. Dang it. Well, he can use a shield. So we'll go ahead and let him have that. We need to repair. We need to get him some platinum or some... Um, some plate armor uh, now that he's high enough to use it all right um let's go ahead and start buffing real quick go ahead and use this and then we need to go to tim and we're gonna go ahead and try to make it so that the only person getting aggro is our main tank and our monk so those are the only two i'm actually gonna put this this buff on um, and if anyone else eats it, then it's, uh, their fault. <laughs> um, bone marrow, definitely take that and we'll go ahead and get rid of that. All right. And did I already switch over to Ishtok? I did. All right. If you don't want to die, what are you casting? All right. If you don't want to die, don't do stupid. <laughs> this is pretty much what we're doing here. All right, let's do it. 
Oh, not turn on their attack. Um, good thing is, is that I'm mangled. We can get a mangled. Come on, click, click the mangled. Click the mangled. There. Oh, we had it. We had it for just a second there. There we go. Why in the world is the only... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, yeah, why are you taking all the damage, man? The lag on the, the spell casting is very, very annoying. Because you can see it's not lagging now. Now that we're fight uh, stopped fighting. Alright. Let's go ahead and let these guys. Small. We'll take it. Uh, definitely take that. Uh, well, we're taking this. Let's move that there. There we go. Nope. Alright. Let's go ahead and move down a little bit more. And we should have a mob on the other end there. All right, so I'm gonna pull with the cat or with the cleric, and then we're gonna grab aggro ASAP on um, on our warrior. Okay, so the warrior is definitely taking the damage much better than the cleric did. Um, I also have, um, in this macro, I have the Adrenaline, which is a new skill that I have, uh, tagged into it, so you can see it up here, and then for the Monk, I have the same kind of thing, as I'm about to kill my, uh, my warrior, apparently, please don't die, please don't, please don't die, I don't care which one you catch right now, just do not let him die. Uh, let's go ahead and have our ranger heal as well. We're gonna, come on. Oh my goodness. How are you still alive? Oh my. Come on now. This is pretty much what we. Oh man, this guy is beast. It's, got our wizard doing his thing. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, come on! Don't die! Come on! You got this. We got this. We had two healers. This is the whole reason I have clerics in my group, <laughs> or more than one cleric, is so that we can keep him healed. Definitely got to figure out why it lags, or if I'm just not pushing something correctly, or if I'm just out of mana, or. I don't know what the reason would be that it's lagging like that. Whew. All right, so this is the last guy in the cycle. Uh, the next, it, we got to just go back up to the top. And that is just because the next mobs after that guy are just too, too hard. We can't, we cannot take them. So we'll go back up here. And um, what time is it? Uh, time. It's eight at night, so we, we should go ahead and start heading to Mount Zarm. Because the wolves only come out at night. And uh, that's what we definitely need to kill. Alright, so where we need to go is um, over this way. Now, at night, there's another mob we have to worry about um, called the Bone Golem. And if he is up, we have to move around him because he is a level 25 mob. And he is high enough to kill at least one of the guards over here, if I remember correctly. So, he will <laughs> push into the town if uh, if you let him. He's um, he's definitely one of the harder harder mobs. And the problem is, is that, let me see, if, if it's one name or two names. Uh, Bone Golem, I think that's just how, yeah. Level 20 Barbarian, Undead. Golem Life Essence. Wait a minute. He does have a Golem Life Essence. 
crafting ingredients. Okay, so it can be used in making um, poisons, several poisons actually, but it also shadow fatigue creation. And there he is. Fantastic. Um, just our kick. Just a, just a little kick. Or just a little bit. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I get up this way? Um, Alright. So pretty much. Uh, items given. Shadow fatigue. Thief level 20. So we do need to kill him at some point. Uh, for our monk barbarian thief but um and then what shadow fatigue that puts the mob to sleep that's amazing um let's see here so it takes melachite refined marrow eternal life essence golem life essence what's an eternal life essence um spawns fiery visage what in the world is monolith i know these mobs monolith flood these are like higher level mobs though right oh, okay maybe not maybe not as high as i thought monolith i think spawns in the jungle um it's like Jarkarth Jungle. By the way, I went back and watched um, watched the video of me uh, of the la or watched the last video, and I noticed that I also was saying all of the names wrong. Like Kin uh, Kinch Kinch. It's C. It's K I N T C H Kinch. I was saying Kinich. And, um, so my name, my name thing is, I'm not good with it. I'm not good with, uh, I think it's actually, um, pronunciation. I'm not, or enunciation. I'm, I'm bad with that. The meaning difference between those two, I'm bad with that. But, um, either way, I noticed every name, like Pedriel. I think I also said, um, that and I don't think that's the actual correct name, um, there's the bears, uh, and up here are wolves, and then there's a wolf um, uh, den. Now, the one problem about this this location that we're going to is that four spawn, and we need to get it to where we only take on one at a time. I don't know what level these guys are, but they're high enough level that we shouldn't be doing it yet. That's all I know about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, so... Um, we're going to need four hides per person. The hides are not a, um, they're, I think they're common, but they're not always. So we're going to have to definitely, uh, do a lot of killing. And this is again, what I had to do last time. Oh, there's a named one. Gray wolf. Let's do a search on that. See what level these guys are. Gray wolf. Level 8. Gray Wolf Hide. Okay, Gray Wolf Hide is always. Okay. Alright, let me let me tell you about this situation right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to have a problem. Because these guys are not spaced far enough apart. If I was to pull with, um, with one of my characters... It, well, we, it, we have to try it, right? That's, and then what, what are we doing? We're pulling the one that has a name on it. Um, not that that really means very much in this game. Um, let's go ahead and turn attack on for all of these guys. You know what? Um, let me see. He has arrows, right? Um, let's make sure that Red Bark has that guy targeted. Alright. And then um, I'm going to make sure that Bregus has Red Bark targeted. Alright. And I'm going to have him try to use an arrow on that. Okay, it's saying that his arrow won't fly that far. Okay, let's get closer. Okay, okay, there we go. And as soon as he gets here... 
Okay, hopefully it's on the warrior. But I know that he's going to be taking a little bit of damage. Um, who is taking the most damage at the moment? Definitely need to get those kicks in. Kick him. Oh, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. How about that? Oh, um... That wasn't... Okay, either way, they, they healed back up. And there we go. We got a gray wolf hide. Okay. Um, I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just stack them. Um, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Where am I at now? Um, I'm going to go ahead and stack them on the second page. I got so much stuff on this guy. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to try this again, except I'm going to go ahead and have my cleric pull because he has a longer range spell. And then we'll go ahead and have the monk take aggro this time. There we go. Looks like the monk took the aggro. We're going to go ahead and throw a uh, target on him. Wow, look at how fast this guy is dying. Okay. So we should be able to take him pretty easy. It would seem. Okay. And wolf meat. We'll definitely take that. Um, let's go ahead and go into here and make sure that it went onto the second page into a stack. Boom. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and kill this one. We'll go ahead and go over to the wolf. Um, to the wolf. Um, I can't den. I think is what it's called. The wolf den. The problem is, is those wolves, they are much, much closer together. And we may get two or three of them. And we have no ability to put them asleep or anything along those lines. So, all right. We're off to a good start. Now, this is a pretty fast spawn, but if you want to be able to maximize your um, your character as far as... What is that? Oh, that was one of his um, his ring abilities, I think. So, got to be careful. Don't want to get attacked by giants. I think these are stone giants, or... I may be wrong. I think... <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, stone... stone seer uh giants stone, stone giants now there can be a named bear over here that is um around level 60 to 75 don't don't go near it <laughs> don't don't think about it until you are at least 70 uh or you're gonna die um also there's a uh, there's a guy on that bridge over there who paces back and forth don't go near that bridge just, just telling you because you're gonna die. <laughs> That's pretty much the whole story of this uh, of the zone. Is that you, you want to you want a thing? You want to do that thing? You're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see here. So we are gonna go ahead and head down this way. And let's see here. I think that right there, that that little hill, that is where we're going. Um. And then that island out there, right right there where those buildings are, that is where we got to go for the quest turn-in. We just might as well have all the hides before we go and do the quest turn-in. But it seems like this isn't going to be as long as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to take a whole lot longer to do. We actually are getting pretty close to leveling. I think Bragus doesn't get a new spell until level 8, which kind of sucks. And I probably should have checked his um, his uh, shaman level uh, spells by level. We can actually do it right here uh, to see whenever he gets his first pet. Pet isn't going to do a lot of damage, but it is going to add to the DPS. So classes, shaman, shaman, and then we're going to go to spells. Let's see here. Come on. Should probably be watching my map. <laughs> Let me bring up the map. Okay, there's the wolf den. Um, and this also shows what mobs are around us. So, at level... Let's 
Level 8. Level 8 of Shaman. Shaman level 8 is whenever you get that ability. Now, I, what I might end up doing, because I want to make sure that we, we have our characters stay within a certain range, is I might stop their primary level until uh, once they get at level 10 and get their secondary level to level 10 and then get their third um our tertiary level to level 10 and then go that route and then that way we can have a pretty strong group going forward they'll have a good number of spells they'll have multiple heals they'll have um pets uh because the ranger or i think it was the bard is going to get become a pet class as well so um that would definitely be uh, very helpful but i know that's not the way people uh, would say to do that i think people would say to just level it the way i'm doing it and then um and then whenever we get our third class it should probably be around level seven whenever we're level like 20 or something like that i don't really want that i want to be able to um have oh yeah oh uh. <laughs> enchanting definitely want to throw that on shablazzle we're gonna go ahead and get this on him and we now have four pelts and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that all right um let's see how many how many of these guys are up here? I thought there was a whole lot more, but apparently not. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. These guys die so freaking fast. Let's go ahead and try to get a spell in before it dies. Oh, we got it. We got it in. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> that was good. Um, that that could have been a problem. So let's go ahead and heal him. Just minor minor heal. And, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So pretty much we need, I don't want to math right now, six times eight. Um, eight times five is 40, so we need 44, right? Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, four times, four times what? Four times six is actually what, what what we need to do. And that's 20. Oh my goodness. Math. My math in my mind right now is not working. My mental block. It's either. Okay. Wait a minute. So 20 is um, five times four. Four times six is 24. I think. I'm doubting myself now. Anyway. Uh, we're going to need a lot of them. <laughs> it's going to just take time, time to get. Um, so I think that's what I might end up doing. But we're going to go ahead and at least get all of these killed that we can find. I was hoping for a whole lot more than what we have here. And um, it's not paying out. <laughs> this is, this is what, three more? Um, because actually it's, yeah, it's three more. Three more than the other one. So everyone, there's three here, three on the other one. To go back and forth between those two. And, um, yeah. So actually what we'll do is we're going to, oh my goodness, why did I not? So, uh, some, somebody leveled. <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been really, really, really bad. Um, let's go ahead and get him healed. Get that going. Click on him. Get there. Get that going. All right. Whew. All right. So, all right. That's it for for this. Let's go see the dragon. Also, um, there's no fast way to get over to this. So right there, that is um, a goblin cave, I think is what it is. It's like, um, it's a dwarf cave that's been infested by goblins. And those goblins, um, uh, you'll, you'll end up having to kill 
for the Fellowship of Light. Actually, you'll go into there for the Fellowship of Light quest as well. And um, I'm trying to... I don't know what else... I don't know what mobs are over here. Um, hmm. By the way, I was able to figure out what presence is. So, whenever we were doing um, our turn-ins and all of that, one thing I noticed is that his health jumped up considerably. And then his stamina also went up considerably. Now that we're leveling up a secondary class, that's going to add a bonus to all of these stats. And you'll also see that their offensive will be getting to a point where it's a little bit higher than what it is currently. And then once we get to our monk, um, let's see what our monk's at right now. He still has high defensive, but he his offense is, is in that, that around the same range. I, I wonder why. 235, 255. What is, let's see what everyone else is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's so bad. Um, and then, yeah, so these two are going to be our powerhouses. They're the ones who are going to be doing most of the, the offensive and defensive um, damage or offensive damage, taking more hits than anyone else because they have that that high defense ability. And also, uh, the monk has a high um, reflex, agility, and dex abilities as well. So, they're going to be a little bit better than that. Um, I'm trying to see. Why I, I'm not looking at mobs. By the way, you do not want to go into the water unless you absolutely have to. And if you do go into the water, you better to look out. <laughs> There's crocodiles in there. There's a name crocodile that I remember that's absolutely massive um, that you need to kill later on. And there's the dragon right over there. He's um, finally coming up into our uh, field of view. Um, but yeah, you want to be careful whenever you're crossing to, uh, to get to that island. Mostly the crocodiles are on that side, but you'll sometimes see them on this side as well. You just want to follow their path. See how they're how they're moving, and then you'll want to go ahead and head on over to that island. But anyway, there is the dragon uh, in his gloriousness, and um, this is probably one of my favorite zones, just because it has an assortment of mobs. This zone, once you get to a certain point, will take you um, up to level twenty, uh, but so will the sewers. The sewers will take you up to twenty plus. And then you can come here. There's mobs in here we can kill. But most likely, once we hit around level 20-ish, or maybe even sooner, we'll, we'll go to um, we'll go down to the desert and we'll, we'll kill there. But anyway, that dragon right there, I don't want to get too much closer to him. He is a level 75 dragon. And, um, yeah, <laughs> he will... He'll rip our face a new one. Now, good thing to know about this game, and one of the things that really makes me love it a whole lot, is that um, you can become a dragon as a wizard. At level 75-ish, I'm going to have to kill that dragon to get the scroll to become uh, um, that dragon uh, on my wizard. So it should be uh, should be pretty interesting what, what what ends up happening. I might well once we get to that point, I'm gonna make the avatar my wizard, <laughs> so you can see the dragon. Um, also, a wizard gets the ability to shrink, and they also get the ability to uh, grow. So you can make yourself a bigger dragon or a really tiny dragon, uh, which will probably make him a tiny dragon. It'll just be easier to get around. Um, and each dragon gives you different benefits. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, if you have any questions about the game, if you have any questions about anything else, please let me know. One thing I did want to show you before we leave is that whenever I logged on, that was gone. And I was freaking out. I could not figure out how to do it. I hit the H button, which is for your help. And what I found out is all I have to do is press enter. <laughs> and I'll, I'll bring it back up. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Mm -hmm.